What do you think about when I say high school? I bet it's not social studies. Most people think about popularity and how the desire to be cool made them engage in all kinds of behaviors that kind of make them laugh when they think about it today. But did you know that there are actually two different kinds of popularity? And being cool is not always a good predictor of success. I'm Mitch Princeton, the author of this year's summer reading book, Popular. In the book, I take a look at what you can do to get the kind of popularity that will lead to the most fulfilling and longest life possible. When we're kids, popularity is all about being likable. And that comes from making others feel happy, valued, and included. That's not the kind of popularity we remember in high school, however. As adolescents, we crave status. And that's all about visibility, dominance, power, influence, and having lots of people know us. But watch out. Status is related to long-term problems with depression, anxiety, substance use problems, and difficulties with our relationships. Here's the scariest part. Society has been pushing us towards status more than likability for about the past 30 years. We are being asked to care about our likes or our followers and how much others find us to be influential and visible. So just remember, it's human nature for us to care what others think about us. But think about it. How do you spend your time and energy every day? By doing things that will make you more likable or by doing things that will help you gain more status?